Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron with the awesome chat. And uh, we're going to get into some audio, some podcasting, some cloud talk today with Robert Kocher from Nebulous. Uh, another great, I ran into this guy in Pittsburgh uh, probably about a year ago. We'll get into that whole backstory and where he ended up. But first, please check out everything going on, awesomecast.net. We have uh, all these awesome chats, uh, including our talk with the, uh, the fellow behind Clamor, who's uh, uh, kind of making some noise out there in the podcasting world, as well as uh, uh, one of the guys behind the uh, uh, Pennsylvania Gaming Coin up hall of fame and we're looking to visit that we'll probably have video up by the time you're listening to this on awesomecast.net and insert coin to begin.com uh pl- please everything else mini awesomecast awesomecast.net we're having great conversations on there with a lot of tech oriented people and talking about the news going on of the day and please subscribe to us on itunes on stitcher on spreaker in most cases and of course our youtube channel so you don't miss uh anything we got coming out of here in sorgatron media and the awesome cast part of the network and big thanks to our friends bold pittsburgh com and slice on broadway.com check them out they support the network please support them back and let them know you heard about them on here so let's get into it uh today my guest is robert kocher he's behind nebulous.io this is uh we're all talking about the cloud we're all talking about web apps uh, although there may be a future for something else here as i understand uh but uh robert how you doing from the left coast oh hey michael thanks for uh thanks for having me happy to be here um, that was, a, that was a cool intro. I can tell this isn't your uh, your first time doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a little bit, a little bit. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, happy, happy to be here. First of all, I didn't catch. So, so, where are you hailing from right now? You're you're it's it's bright out there. We're we're here. It's it's about nine thirty in Pittsburgh, uh, PM. Uh, what 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 are you doing out there? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm about forty five minutes an hour north of LA right now. Nice, uh, working sort of a day job. Have part time kind of thing in uh, up in uh, the desert area up here. Uh, you know, start a startup company. We don't make tons of money, so I need to <laughs> I need to pay the bills somehow. But um, evenings come home and and continue to work on Nebulous. I'm one of the uh, lead developers also for the team. So awesome. lots to keep us busy. So for the uninitiated, what is Nebulous? So Nebulous is essentially a cloud-based technology for sharing music. It's for musicians to upload their sounds, work together on projects. So while SoundCloud is more for the distribution, promotion side of things, Nebulous helps musicians collaborate together in real time from their devices. Nice. Nice. And that's what really excited me. So I, I ran into you first. It had been about a year ago at one of the Alpha Lab Open Coffees. Uh, hell, they were still down on the south side, uh, and they've moved since. Um, and, uh, and, and, and you know, I'm a podcaster. I, you know, I'm working with audio, at least in my way. Uh, and, and, and this really kind of excited me, especially the collaboration side of things. So tell me, how are you pulling that off? Because, you know, audio, I mean, audio is not huge, like, like dealing with video projects, but it's not that small either to get good quality audio. How are you guys kind of handling that and, and kind of doing it all in browser? Yeah, well, I guess just to, to mention some of the technologies we're using, we're, we're taking advantage of some of um, HTML5's APIs, Web Audio API, has been really um, important in helping us to do this. And it's only been in the last, well, I guess I could say two years now that this has been an acceptable way for, um, you know, a serious, a company taking themselves seriously to make a product. Before that was all done in Flash. And, um, you know, Flash is on its way out because, uh, you know, there's that, you know, you have to do installations on the side. It, it's something that's not built directly into JavaScript. Mm-hmm. It's entirely different language. Um, and it's really kind of uh, a bit of a pain, and people are, are seeing that. So, you know, everything's moving natively into the browser in JavaScript, and we're taking advantage of that. Um, and we're also we're doing some other things technologi- technologically to make this kind of thing happen in real time. So think Google Docs. Um, you have your, your word processing. Um, you have your Excel. And, you know, the, one of the reasons we started this was we were like, hey, you can do lots of things in real time, collaboratively, but wait, there's not really anything for music. You know, we'll, 
let's do that. Let's do music. And, and it started out as a, a summer project and um, it quickly became something a lot more than that. So that's, that's where we are right now. That's also, I, I, and I feel like I feel like the internet has already enabled musicians. Uh, you know, we, I do a lot of some of our friends on the network do comic books, and and that idea that like comic book artists are just completely nobody's at the Marvel headquarters as a as a tour I saw before, and it seems like uh, the record labels nobody has to go to a studio in the middle of nowhere and collaborate for a weekend. They're doing it from the comfort of wherever they are. Uh, you know, and. and uh, so th- this kind of this seems to take it to a ne- next step that they don't have to download, sync to Dropbox, do all that thing, make sure you all have the same version of Acid or what. I'm sure they use something better than Acid. I don't know. It's the first thing I could think of. But <laughs> Pro Tools, I guess, yeah, right? It's, well, I, I, it's, I, it's, go ahead. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned Dropbox. You know, we've been talking to people for a year about this concept to, mm-hmm. to kind of get their thoughts on, you know, is this is this worth pursuing? And everybody we've talked to has said, you all, yeah, right now I use email. We have when we make us when we make a song collaboratively, we have this giant email thread and all these different versions of files that we send back and forth. Mm. Um, and similarly for Dropbox, one only one person can work on a project at a time using either of those methods. And what we thought is, well, why not make a place where anybody could work on it at any time, arrange the sounds, and um, just make the whole process a lot more natural and a whole lot more efficient. So you tell me, so so if somebody else is dropping in the project, like they can actually, is this like Google Docs where I can see like maybe their cursor working along with the music? It is, so you don't see the cursor moving, but you do see, you know, if they were dragging a clip in time, if they wanted to move a clip from zero seconds to five seconds, whatever, something like that, we, you know, as soon as you move that clip, everybody sees that change. So all the you know, you know, minus the mouse movement, all of the changes to the audio, if there's a, a split or a trim or something like that, or a label color change, uh, that I, I would see that immediately. That's awesome. So how full featured is this? As far as uh, uh, apps go, I mean, I, like I said, I've, I've, I've had my time with uh, Audis- Audacity, uh, uh, Audition, Koi, I guess it used to be called, Pro Tools. How does this compare to those kinds of tools if I'm somebody, uh, you know, maybe even just a novice uh, podcaster like myself, uh, to somebody who is making albums, uh, even if it is acid, like I might have done part of an album on myself. Uh, you know, h- how, how does that compare uh, kind of tool-wise? Because I feel like when we go to the web, we're like, oh, this is a stripped-down version of Word, you know, when we're first on a Google Docs, and it's kind of become more featured as we go at what point are you in comparison to those sorts of tools right yeah and, and it's you know to be perfectly honest we are at a still an early stage we've been doing mm-hmm. this for a year and i think from the beginning our intentions were not to make a fully featured duh you know beyond like the first at the first month we were like we're going to make pro tools in the browser and then we were like well wait a second pro tools is really good you know, Audacity is really good. Where can we fit into this picture? Mm-hmm. And so we decided, well, you know, well, let's not make Pro Tools in the browser. Let's make a different thing. Something that's solving a real problem is is laser focused on that. So the problem was collaboration. And so we wanted to make a, a software that helped people to collaborate better. The editing may come later. And in fact, as you can see, you know, right now in the in the software, you can export as files that are compatible with other workstations. You, you can see there, there's a import and export. So you can export as a stem file and pull this right into Audacity or Pro Tools. We oh, want to work nice. with that software and not against it. So and can I, so if I'm working on something in Audacity in, in something like that, can I, and I can pull that in as well? You can. So right now you can drag and drop right to the can we call it a canvas just drag and drop it right on mm-hmm. and you can see the changes happening and then when you're ready to say you know bounce for mastering at the end or whatever you can just export those stems and then pull that up into pro tools and get the all the functionality of pro tools to use pro tools for what it's good for that's awesome that's awesome so so where is the processing happening is it happening like on server and bouncing it back as like maybe a download or something or or is the pro are you are you doing the processing somehow via JavaScript uh, uh, via the browser so I had the fun job of writing uh, code that that 
that takes apes or takes MP3s or takes waves mm -hmm. and strips those down into uh, you know raw audio samples. So we you know uh, PCM data. So we you can you can you can as input use any of these file types. We grab the samples and we store the samples on the server. So the server is never holding anything but the raw audio mm -hmm. data. Um, and then when we export, we, we do conversions again. So we try to keep all the formats the same. The processing, though, is done client-side, and that makes it much faster. You don't have to send it to the server. You don't have to send a command to the server, make those changes server-side, and then wait for the response. It's all done on the browser. Mm -hmm. And I'm noticing, as I'm sitting here, I, I realize I do have a little bit of audio on here. And I, I, took, I found, I think this is a song or something that's sitting on this computer. And it's just one of our studio computers in here. And it's actually maybe a core duo, one or two, I'm not sure. So it's not a new computer. And, uh, and just sitting here, it is taking a few moments to process, but it looks like it's about done. Uh, it's a nice clip for something like this. I, I was, I've seen you know full-on programs that take a bit longer even to just do that first kind of mix down, right? Uh, but the, yeah. that, that's pretty impressive, and it should show up here in a minute. I just drug it to the... Uh, so that's all happening in my processor. So, of course, if I'm on my MacBook i7 craziness, it's going to happen pretty much like that. It'll happen, I, it'll happen fast. Now, there is always the limitation of the network. How fast can you send this data? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and if you have other people listening at the same time, it'll double that, you know, ish, depending on their internet connection. Um, but we do take advantage of some of the later web technologies. We're using WebSockets, so that really speeds things up. You know, we're not pinging in a loop. We're saying everybody connects to a project and listens to it as soon as a change happens we push those out immediately so we're really we're doing this as fast as we can and we're always trying to mm -hmm. optimize it but there is a little bit of that wait time in there still mm -hmm, mm -hmm. certainly yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to make sure I, that i didn't drop like an hour podcast in this by accident so <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks like it was actually uploading not processing i, I kind of mixed what, what was happening here uh but no it's up mm -hmm. and i'm already seeing uh waveforms this is my uploads complete i got my little uh uh a thing at the bottom here if you're on video uh i, I definitely recommend checking out video so so you can kind of see uh what this looks like or go over to nebulous.io and uh you, you can just start up a project and kind of uh tinker around while you're listening to this if you're if you're not mobile for you, that is so and this is this is a uh, uh, desktop browser only is there any sort of functionality if i open this up on like my iphone um it not an iphone if you have an android it should work Really? So. Oh, I got a tablet. Oh, that, that's a challenge. I got I got an Nexus Seven sitting upstairs, just waiting for me to tinker with this before I go to bed. So, well, give it a shot. We, you know, we we've been developing this with with uh, you know multiple screen sizes in mind, um, and so we haven't. I can't claim we've tested it on every device, but you know, theoretically, um, it should not look terrible if it if it loads. Now we're we are also using something called Modernizer, meaning as soon as the, the well let me take a step back in the past you've had to manually check uh, to see if a feature would um, load or not in a browser and you'd have to continuously update this um, right now as soon as a browser implements support for for a certain feature um, you know of the API it, it'll load the program and so this allows us to um, not really have to worry about support across browsers as well that's awesome as much. That's great. I mean, that's that's kind of, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about those new features, right? And especially since you guys are growing and in, in, in next time you load it, that's awesome. Uh, so, so hey, you got me tickled. You got me, my brain tickled on the Android side because I'm thinking about, like, what can I do? And this is another thing. And maybe, you know, kind of part of the conversation I had, um, I have typically is, is uh, what do people use? when they're on Android. I have easy answers for you for if you're making a podcast, if you're doing video, uh, because it's pretty standard. And a lot of video and audio applications kind of gravitate towards it. But Android is so widely based, you know, and I don't think a lot of, maybe I just don't know, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of activity there. But uh, this could be a pretty nice go-to solution if you're on one of those devices, it seems. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we, I don't think the original intention was for, this to be used on devices and uh, actually our push this summer is to go to you know more than just the browser I mean we want to we want to we're actually in the process right now of building mm -hmm. an iOS app 
um, and an Android app, so you don't have to load it in a mobile browser. And we're also building uh, desktop clients. So we want this to be, you know, we before we get into too many crazy features, we want to make this a solution that really is solving a problem, and that is sharing audio files from really whatever device you're on. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, uh, kind of getting into it, and, and, and I say I, re- I met you first at Alpha Lab. Uh, you know, we talked we talked to a lot of companies out of Alpha Lab on here. And uh, how was the experience uh, uh, going through there? And and you know, how 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 far did that kind of push you guys along during your cycle there? It was great, really. I mean, this we're all first time entrepreneurs. Um, I've been in startup companies before, but as developer only, and so this it was very insightful to. Um, sort of allow us to see our mistakes more mm-hmm. quickly um, and learn from people who've, who've been through the process already. And so, you know, we, we were fine on the technology side. We have a team of, of uh, computer science students from Carnegie Mellon. Uh, and that wasn't really a weakness of ours. The, one of the things we, we learned a lot about was, was running a business. We did make, you know, our handful of mistakes like any first-time entrepreneur, but I feel like Alpha Lab really helped us to minimize the number of those mistakes that we made. Awesome, awesome. And uh, and we talked about it. That's why we kind of reconnected here over the last couple of weeks and had a, a really good phone call talking about podcasting. And that's kind of my first. I, I know I was probably probably you were way too early. I'm like asking like, but I can't do this. So, you know, I, I podcast and I collaborate and I like to do this and double unders and all that kind of thing. And and I was probably I'm sorry I was probably way too early in your process to be asking those questions. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, but it sounds like you're you're kind of taking a look at that as an option. Uh, but uh, you know what, what? What's making you kind of look at that, or do you think you've solved most of the problems for the general uh, uh, kind of music artist uh, side of things? Well, I, I think we're we're helping musicians, and we have activity on the site, which is always you know after putting in a year of work, it's it's good to see that. Mm-hmm. Um, recently, we you know started thinking about podcasting because a random guy reached out and and said. I'd like the technology you have. You've got to do pod. You've got to, you know, help podcasters with this. I'm a more of an amateur podcaster. Here's my process. It's really confusing, and it took me a long time to to figure this out on my own. And he's like, there are a lot of new podcasters. So it's a growing um, interest for a lot of people. Um, we, you know, none of us really had the background. So at the time, we kind of took his word for it. We're like, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe there is something here, but. We need to learn more about it because you know none of us none of us really do this. So let's <laughs> let's look into it. And kind of, and that was my take was you know there's a lot of podcasters. There's a lot that um, um, a lot of new podcasters may be overwhelmed by the technology as well. And I wondered if uh, you know maybe this is, this could be an opportunity for that. So um, I mean, in, in 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 the collaboration side, and my, my biggest question was what about my big hour long uh, masterpiece of a podcast? Can it handle something that long? Is kind of my first question mark on something like this because I've had yeah. I've had programs on computer that have not over the years, and we're talking ten years back as far as podcasting goes. So uh, you know, we, we, we've seen some stuff, okay. Uh, but uh, but but you you guys can handle something that big. Probably load time is going to be a, a, an issue, but other than that, for for uploads, right? Yeah. Well, we have tested um, up to forty five minutes, mm-hmm. and it does. Yeah. Right. There is the loading time. You know, syncing with the with the server and everything, um, and we can do certain things about that. But it, you know, our efforts can only take us so far. Mm-hmm. Um, but in theory, you know, it should work for an hour or two. If if we do decide to go in the podcasting direction, we're going to make sure it works for an hour. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we were we're typically working with shorter things now, shorter as in three, four, five minute, you know songs from a band or whatever but you know if if we if we change our focus to podcasters it's gonna it's gonna work for podcasters so awesome awesome uh so is there anything like you you see you're seeing some uh musician um um activity on here uh is anybody trying to make an album at this point uh i'm not i'm not sure about an album we've had a, a guy who I've been private messaging on the site, and he's uh, enrolling in competitions. I think they're more like nice. amateur competitions where you have sort of like a set of constraints. You have to make various sounds or like various you know short songs, and he's almost daily on there 
uploading something new and interesting. Uh, so it's kind of cool to see, you know, people using this for, you know, for their actual, you know, daily, daily jobs or, or what the, you know, what they do. They're not just tinkering. They're actually using it for like a, with a goal in mind. It was really kind of satisfying to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. How many people can get in on collaboration? We haven't found a limit yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a challenge, yeah. guys. That's a challenge right there. So that's awesome. That's amazing. Um, yeah. it, whoever whoever collaborates the most wins. Uh, I don't know what you win, but but it'd be it'd be interesting. I mean, we've done uh, four or five people. I I don't you know the number of people on a project really uh, shouldn't matter in theory. Hmm. You know, now if all those people were trying to upload things at the same time, that might you know if twenty people were trying to upload sounds at exactly the same time. Uh, you may get an undefined result or two, but uh, you know it should handle as many people as you need. All right, I got an experiment here. This is what we're going to try. I got some creative pe pe people people over on the wrestling show, and we get together every Monday night to watch Raw together on the Hangout, and we can get up to ten of us. So I think I want to just sick them on this one of these nights. So if you see some uh, some traffic on Monday, I'm sorry <laughs> if it brings you to, but uh, we'll we'll put this thing to the limit. I always have to keep them from doing soundboards as it is. So, um, all right, as you're as you're moving to uh, uh, looking at podcasting, any, any other kind of industries that you're you're looking at this that this could affect that maybe maybe you haven't uh, uh, dipped your toes in yet that you're exploring? Well, I've I've uh, got some talk set up with audio engineers. Um, I personally can't say I'm an audio engineer either. I'm actually classically trained, and so I'm usually the one sending my stuff to audio engineers and mm -hmm. waiting for them to get back to me. But, um, you know, we we feel like there's potential there as well. Um, and it's really these two types of uh, artists that we're, that we're looking into. So, actually, to be, to be completely honest, I, we're still looking for feedback if anybody has really cool ideas, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear, um, because we feel like we have a technology that can be, that's very general right now and can be used in more specific situations. And now we're trying to figure out what is that, what is the best situation for us right now? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, for, for companies like this, I know to speak for if you're a startup or something and, and, and defer if, if I'm getting too into things, but, um, you know, what, what's kind of the, the outlook on this as far as like, what's the goal? Like, do you want this to be kind of a pay service at some point or are there other avenues you guys are exploring? Yeah. I mean, we've, we've definitely all along been talking about a pay service right now. It's free mm -hmm. and we intend to keep it like that until we really feel like we've found where we belong, you know, what specific market do we belong in? And right now, we, you know, I can't, I can't claim we found this the perfect one for us yet. Of course, um, but I do really strongly believe there's something out there. And so, uh, I think once we find that, once we find our fit, and we can feel confident about, you know, we're going to do exactly this and and give you this, you know, A, B, and C value. Uh, that uh, probably around then we're going to start monetizing. Right now, completely free. Mm -hmm, certainly i mean you do have uh you are competing with uh uh of course uh some pretty I, well, I, I, wait, how much how much is it for audacity it's like what 30 bucks a month to get the subscription for that at this point so i mean you got a pretty level playing field there um, um too bad it's not still 300 dollars, right <laughs> as, as a comp comp that, competitor that like a, no no you have to excuse my Ignorance here. I thought it was. Uh, I mean, I I thought I was using a free version at one point. Oh, uh, you know uh, what? I keep, I apologize. I, I keep confusing uh, audition and audacity in my head. Um, oh, audition. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Adobe's audition. If you're using a professional tool like that uh, for something like that, like I'm thinking, I'm thinking along those lines. I'm also trying not to talk video. I, I'm 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 confusing those those as well uh, because I, I do work in video all day. So, um, but uh, well, speaking of which, so you you've done a lot of things on this to make the audio work in the cloud and everything, and uh, you know. And I think there's there's some guys out there doing some cloud video options. YouTube has a video uh, editor. I recommend it for newbies that are trying stuff out and just need something simple to use. Um, do you see something happening maybe in the near future here with this uh, involving something with video? Uh, it's it's definitely something uh, we've looked at. You know, I guess since the start, mm -hmm. and it's an idea that personally excites me. Um, 
And the, I guess the question is, as a, as a business, you know, when, maybe not even if, but when would it make sense for us to do that? Right. You know, we, we're all, you know, you know, bracing for the long summer of developing this for iOS and, and desktop and, you know, getting this on as many devices as we can. And so probably in the next couple months, that's what we're going to be focusing on. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, we have a, a very strong development team. The product you're looking at right now went uh, through complete transformations about three times. We, we pretty much said, let's, let's, let's start over <laughs> and, and learn from our mistakes. So we, I, I'm, I'm happy that we you know, have such a great team for development. We can build things pretty fast. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I got to ask, uh, as a startup, and hey, you're out in California too, uh, are you watching Silicon Valley? And is it any, if so, is it anything like that? <laughs> you know, I, I've seen part of an episode. Uh, I've, seen the, <laughs> I've seen the D2F episode. Uh, you know, for those of you who don't know that, I guess you can, can Google it, but I haven't really gotten much. Uh, into the show, but I, I intend to, I, you know, I, to be honest, the way I spend my hours, I have little side, like passion projects that mm-hmm. I work on. Um, I've got two or three other ones of those outside of work. And so I, I usually get home and just like go straight to bed. Cause I, uh, I'm just so tired, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's one I probably should get more into. Certainly, certainly. It, it seems like uh, you know, definitely with we, we, you know watching watching tech stuff. Uh, uh, you know, startups startups are exciting, and 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 I love that there's stuff happening in Pittsburgh. Um, uh, now you've been transplanted, of course. Uh, you know what kind of uh, you know obviously you got access to Carnegie Mellon people, which I think is a fantastic resource for anybody, I and mean, really raises the level here in the city. Um, but but uh, you know what what is uh, your decision kind of picking Pittsburgh to start up in with Alpha? lab uh versus you know any access out there uh, on on the uh, west coast yeah it was i guess more than anything convenient for me because i had sort of connections i knew a lot of people in that scene Mm -hmm. um i was actually in a startup company that recently was acquired by hal leonard so that that was official news as of about last week and and there's a you know that was really exciting um and from that experience I um, I got to meet a lot of people in the scene, and so it was you know it wasn't too difficult to to meet up and say hey I've got this idea I think it's going to be a big opportunity for these reasons we've already started it you can see it right here mm-hmm. um, you know rather than you know booking flights and flying out to a region where I don't know you know nearly as many people so awesome what do you think about the vibe here in Pittsburgh Well I I grew up in Pittsburgh. Uh, it's, it's home to me. I, I don't know if I want to end up there long term. I, the, the winters are a little cold. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny cause I came out here, I, I snapchatted a picture of this to some friends today cause it was hilarious. You know, it's like 70 degrees and you know, we're driving to lunch, you know, I'm in the back seat and I'm looking at, you know, the guys in the front seat, they're, they're wearing jackets, not only jackets, they're like winter jackets. And I'm like, it's like 70 degrees outside. Are you like cold or like, is it like habit? I, I don't understand why you're both wearing jackets. So I'm sitting in the back, like, like, you know, like sweating, like opening the window, trying to get some fresh air. And it's just kind of, kind of funny, but yeah, Pittsburgh is, will always be home to me. Uh, it's a good city. Awesome. Awesome. Anything else you guys looking into, uh, uh, going forward, any, any, any fun road bumps, any, any uh, anecdotes, uh, of your uh, progress so far you'd like to share? Wait, was that sorry? Was that a question for me? Oh yes. <laughs> hey, anything else you want to share? Anything else you want to share about that, what's that? I think a few words didn't go through, and I, I, I maybe heard that like phrase towards the. Anyway, <laughs> no problem. The point. No uh, problem. Uh, any anecdotes of our, of our progress so far? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I mean, it's it's just been a wild ride. It's only been a year. Mm-hmm. We started building one thing and we've 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 the word in in the in the business is pivoting you know about how crazy of a pivot we we might make next mm-hmm. uh, ooh, did I lose no don't that? worry about that don't worry about that one <laughs> but you know uh 
any any specific anecdotes like stories uh I'm trying to think of anything really interesting we went down well i don't I, this isn't really even related to our product but we drove down to south by southwest which by the way was an amazing opportunity So we drove down, uh, basically didn't sleep for a week and a half. Uh, and the nice thing was there was tech there too. That was how we kind of, we, uh, you know, we, we made it a business opportunity as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, and by the end of two weeks we were exhausted and, and me and one of the other, uh, founders were driving back through Arkansas. We didn't, we didn't stop. It was a 24 hour drive and we're like, let's just do this. You know, we'll just switch off and, and the other guy can sleep. It was like, Four o'clock um, in the morning in Arkansas, and we're we're driving along, and and you know the the other guy who was with us pulls off. He's like, I can't I can't go any longer. You gotta you have to take it from here. So we're we're both like kind of half asleep. We both get out of the car, and <laughs> he forgot to put the parking brake on, and he shuts the door. We both shut the door, and the car just starts driving off down the highway, middle of Arkansas, about three or four in the morning and we're chasing it in our bare feet down, down the highway. It was, that was one of the memorable, uh, you know, needless to say a, a real bonding experience for, for uh, two of the nebulous co-founders. Awesome. Awesome. All right. If anybody wants to check out what's going on with nebulous, everything coming up, it's nebulous.io. Anything else uh, around the company we should know about? Well, keep an eye out for, uh, some, some apps coming up soon. Um, we're really excited about our iOS app, our desktop app. You know, we're working really hard on that. Um, losing a lot of sleep over those. Also, we, you know, we're really receptive to any feedback. If something's not working, let us know. If there's something we can make, let us know. You know, we're here for you. Um, and we're really excited about the technology that we have and where we can go with it. Awesome. Uh, we'll, I'll be working on If anybody else wants to uh, also contribute and do a Google Hangout stress test thing on this, uh, uh, open to hear your results on, on, on that sort of thing. I think uh, I'm kind of scared what I'm going to do if I give the guys all audio tools. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there, well, there's, there's no 100% guarantee. I, I think this may be the, the best stress test we've done on the product so far, but uh, it should hold up. I'm sending out invites tonight. I'm sending out invites to the entire team tonight. They all have microphones. They all have sets, sets for the podcast. Um, I, I can't well, I can't recommend that it's something that's going to be clean that you can show off in a board meeting or something, but but something will happen most likely from these guys. Well, um, if, if, if things break, I expect a formal bug report because we're going to try to fix it. But, <laughs> there you uh, go. Yeah, let us, I mean, definitely let us know. It's going to be, I'm actually kind of excited that you guys are doing this so a <laughs> little, little nervous but also excited so awesome check it out where are you guys on the social medias if anybody want to ask you anybody wants to ask you any more questions about the product uh, twitter, twitter we're on nebulous audio um i guess if they're more if they're more like feature thing or should i is i don't know if you give out emails but i could i could just let yeah. people know the emails we're, we're really we really love chatting you know one-on-one -on -one with people as well so um you could Shoot support at nebulous.io and email. Um, we're all kind of attached to that, so you'll you'll get in on the discussion. Um, Twitter, you can also reach us as well. Awesome, go check them out. Thanks a lot, Robert Coacher. Out in the warm sunniness of California in the in the desert, uh, <laughs> uh, but we're 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 digging it here in Pittsburgh, and you can check out more awesomeness coming around. Uh, actually, speaking of Alpha Lab, uh, they got a big demo de day coming up June second down there at uh, Stage AE. A few of us from the Awesome Cast will be there uh, checking things out and see what's new. It might make some new friends that you'll see some faces, hear some voices here on this show. For instance, we've talked to a lot of the guys over the years. So, uh, And also, please check out everything else, awesomecast.net, awesomecast on the Twitters, Facebooks, Google+. And, of course, please subscribe to the show on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. Wait, we're not on that one just yet, Al, I think about it. Um, all that kind of stuff and so much more on the Sorgatron Media Network. And uh, I'm at Sorgatron. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you to our awesome guests. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.